Hello. If you want to quickly find the folder you need, or give the standard look of the operating system something of your own, then you need to watch this video, and here you will learn how to change the color of the folder, as well as add an icon of your choice to the folder, using a simple and the free app, Folder Painter. The application does not affect the performance of the system in any way, it works flawlessly in Windows 7, 8 1, and in Windows 10, without installation, without an activation code, portable, free software. At the very end of the video, I'll show you how easy it is to uninstall this application, and revert all changes back if you don't like it. In the description of this video, I added a link to the download page, open the description, click the link. Here is a detailed description of the application, the download button is below. And below, just under the advertisement, is, download, click, do nothing on this page you need to wait a little and the download starts automatically. The archive with the application has been downloaded, close the browser, open the downloads folder, This is a regular zip archive, it is unpacked without the help of any programs, but if an archiver, for example WinRAR, is installed on your computer, you can unpack the archive with your program. I double click on the archive, the folder with the program opens, and I drag it to my desktop, you can place the folder anywhere. I open the folder, here we see two icons, the application does not require installation, the upper icon to launch the 32-bit version, the lower one for the 64-bit version, let's see the bit capacity of your system. Right-click, this computer, select properties, and here you can see what bit depth our Windows is. I have Windows 64-bit, and I am running the 64-bit version, and now we will see the main menu of the application. If your application has started in another language, Click in the lower right corner, Menu, and select the language you need. For this video, I prepared several folders on the desktop, but they can be located anywhere on the computer. To change the color of the folder at any time, at the top left opposite to the item, Change Folder icon, there must be a checkbox, now click at the bottom, Install. You heard the notification sound from the application, and this means that the setting is done. Let's right click on a folder, and now we see that a new item has appeared in the context menu, if you select this item, an additional menu appears, and here you can choose any color for this folder. For the folder, photos, I choose purple color, and the folder immediately turned purple. Let the music folder be red. The finance folder let it be green. There are two more items in the context menu, select a folder, click the first item, default folder icon, and when you select it, the folder becomes the usual system color. You can reset the settings for several folders at once, for this we select like this, select the first line, the default folder icon, and the color of the folders is restored. In addition, you can now launch the application directly from the context menu. If you change the color in this way, then the color of the folders will be the same only on this computer. But when you copy the colored folder to the USB flash drive and open it on another computer, the folder will become normal. The application allows you to fix the color of the folder, for this you need to check the box here, copy icon while in folder, and now the colored folder on the other computer will also remain in color. If you do not want to unnecessarily clutter the context menu with items that are rarely used, then you can hide the menu of this program. To do this, check the box in this line. It says use shift key to display context menu, click install, and now we see that the menu of this application is no longer displayed here. Now press and hold the shift key, right click on the folder. Now we see that the application item appears in the context menu. As soon as the menu is open, the shift can be released immediately. And this is logical, because we do not decorate folders every day. Let's do this while we are setting up the program. This checkbox can be removed, so it will be more convenient. And we can also change the name of the context menu of this application. Here I will write, Folder Color. 
Install. Name has been updated. In addition to choosing a color, the application allows you to add an icon to the folder. The upper menu group allows you to select and change the color of the folder. After we gave the name to this group, color of the folder, now it will be easier to navigate in the application. Below, the application has two more groups of ready-made icons. I will collapse all the groups more compactly. Now you can see that the checkbox is checked here, and the folder color group is already configured. If you want to add icons to the folders, then check the box next to each group, and add to icon groups number 1. And number 2. Click, Install. Look at the context menu of the folder. Two new items have appeared, the first menu, and the second menu. Now we can assign any icon to any folder. Let me assign icon number 6 to the photos folder from the second menu. For the music folder, I choose the icon number 8. Folder finance, from the first group, icon number 4. Documents, second group, icon number 5. Perhaps you have a context folder, you can assign an icon to it, number 1. If you didn't find anything interesting in a group, you can remove this group from the menu, and here's how to do it. First you need to uncheck the box and click install, then select the group name, and click, remove selected menu. Please note that the group is no longer in the context menu, and it is not in the program menu, but the folder view has not changed anyway. In order for the folder view to return to the system view, you need to select in the context menu, restore to default. On the application download site, we can download ready-made packages of additional icons, open the web page for downloading the program, go down below, here we see two folders with archives of icons. The archives are exactly the same, but they are located in different places, I select the Google Disk Archive, click, and the archive is downloaded to my computer. I open the downloads folder, unpack the archive, and drag it back to the desktop. I open the folder. There are 21 folders with shortcuts, it is not necessary to install all the icons at once, let's see the contents of one of the folders, and here's how it's done. We open the application, collapse both menus, in the program menu, click, add a new menu, while first the menu that we previously deleted is automatically added. Another click, add new menu, and now an empty menu has been added, in this menu, for ease of use, I will assign a different name. I'll name it, my icons, click install. Now I once click on icon number 1 in the menu, and on the right I need to find the place where the new icons are. We click, here, in the window that opens, we find the folder with icons, and double click to open it, here you need to double click to open some package with icons, I open package number 15, click once, icon number 14, install, check the box, install, Now open the context menu on the folder, and select a new icon. The icon is attached to the folder. It's not easy to select one icon at a time, but in this way you will get rid of unnecessary garbage and will not clog the menu with unnecessary icons. If you need to fix icons for other computers, then select the entire group, check the box, install. You can look at the rest of the packages yourself, and perhaps you will find something for yourself. Folder Painter is a portable application, it works without installation, and if you ever stop using this application and want to return all folders to the system view, you need to select all the folders. Right-click on one of the folders and select, Restore to Default, in the context menu. Then open the program menu, collapse all menus here, check the box everywhere, and here click, delete. Now let's check, 
right click on any folder, and now we see that this application is no longer in the context menu, and if you want, you can also delete the folder with the application from your computer. I hope that what I told you is interesting and could help you, if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Good luck.